That was a race. Did you see that? I did not expect that. Holy smokes. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in for another awesome episode of Oz Talk. We have a huge battle up today. Two big Commodores. We have Slick VH versus Envy VL. Let's go check them out. So today we have Pete. Pete's out with Slick. He's brought his VH out. This thing is a weapon. We see that it's got an LS in it, turbo. It's a 5.3 iron block. Okay. Um, it's got an S485 Borg Warner turbo from Pro Boost. Yep. How much Grant. boost are you pu pushing on that thing? Um, at the track we can get 30 pound. Good. Somewhere here like this, probably 22. Traction. Something like that. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's got it there if you need it. Your fab work on this one. Yeah, me and PB, Paulie Butler with Nana, we fabbed this all up. This car was built 10 years ago as a burnout car. Okay. And it ran a naturally aspirated 355, and Justin was the first person to tune it. We built it out of a $300 wreck out of a paddock in 10 weeks. True. Took it to Power Cruise, and that's where the journey started. And then, um, yeah, five years ago, we took the, the 355 out and put an LS in it with the turbo, we had an S480 in it. Run that in the car for the last four years. Well, this, the last four years, and we just pulled it out and give it a freshen up and changed it to dry sump. And that's about the only changes I've done, except for the turbo, I went to an S485 instead of an S480. Okay. But other than that, the car's been as it is for the last four years. I've and it's won, held up. Yeah, well, I've <laughs> won the power skid comp of power cruise for the last three years running, so. Awesome, it's that's pretty a good, good effort. Transmission in this one? Two-speed power glide. It's only had one freshen up in its whole time wow. as well. Piercy, he's just a mate of ours. He does the gearbox for me. Yep. The converter is from Jeff Dell, converter shop. He's closed down recently, he's yeah? Just, yeah, he's just, he's gotten- Had enough. Yeah, he's retiring. Yeah. He's, he's always done well by it, so. Yeah. It's a very basic combo. It just works. Works, yeah. It stays working, yep. which is awesome. And um, a really big thing for me is today, me young fella got to have a race. Have a it. crack at it? Yeah. And, mate, he, and he did well. He did. He did. Yep. Everyone stood there waiting for it to yep. uh, kick no. a bit sideways, but it was yeah. a good pass. Uh, he's been driving his whole life, but he's never had the opportunity to do this yep. on the street like this with this car, so. Had a proud, a proud dad moment, Very for sure. Very proud dad moment, mate, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was really, really impressed with him as years all were too. We've noticed this thing hanging out the side of your guard. Oh, it's just so you can warm your hands, warm cold your morning. Hands, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, actually, I, I have it so that when the girls walk past, it, like, blows oh, their I blow the skirt up. up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. It doesn't have much of an exhaust on it. It's only about you know, maybe a meter. Well, it's a fair size pipe. What's that? Yeah. Is that five inch? Yeah, it's five inch. Christ. Surprisingly, bud, being turbo, they're just not loud. No. 
unless the turbo you're, smashes the yeah, sand out of it. Unless you're, when you're on them, obviously they're loud, but just cruising around, like they're pretty quiet. Notice the back of this thing's got heroes on it. Yes, yeah, what heroes. Size? It's um, two seven five heroes. It's got a um, me and Paulie just just before we started racing. Actually, we just did a full sheet metal nine inch and did a um, enemies everywhere, slow bar rear end okay. in it and. Um, the back end's pretty good in it actually. It's 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 all sits well. Yeah, it worked well. Good. It's got Avco double adjustable Avcos in it, and Maca set the um, suspension up on it, and good. he's nailed it. It's it's the front suspension standard. Hasn't got anything in the front, only the back, and it pushes just, everything to the rear. It just anyway. works. Yeah, it, <laughs> it it works. So we haven't done worried about doing the front because it, like I've raced it a few times now, and it leaves quite well, and yeah, leave it alone until it stops. Plus, this thing's not racing around a corner. No, that's right. <laughs> so you don't need front suspension no. in it. You leave that in the air, it yeah. squats on the rear. Exactly. Perfect. Um, your coil packs up the back, you're just running just standard LS coil packs in that thing? Um, or they, no, they're Helltech. Helltech, yeah, okay. Yep. Helltech. Yep. Have you got a screen? Got, you got a, yeah, you got a yep. screen in it? Got yeah, it's got the IC7 dash in it. It's got a, a Elite 2500 in it. Okay. I've got an auto elect shop and a mechanic shop, so we do everything. It basically, Perfect. build everything on this car ourselves. Yeah except the tuning, Juzzy does the tuning for us. But everything else on this car has been built at my workshop. Great. So, well, full credit to yourself, mate. Yeah. It's beautiful, so, goes well. Yeah, it's good. Standard heads. I just did a freshen up on the motor. It's got standard rockers, brand new, genuine GM standard rockers. They hold together, man. Yeah. And that's, it's and pretty that's straightforward people, combo. And people are like, oh, LS, everyone's got LS in it. Well, yep. when you know, you know. Yep. These things, you build them fairly strong yep. and put a fistful of boost in them. These things hold a thousand, no problems. Anyone who knows the car has just seen it do, it's just done four years of Hard absolute abuse. flogging it, you yep. know? And it, Stand I up. pulled it apart and gave it a freshen up and it, all the stuff that I took out of it, I could probably put it into another motor yep. and it'd be fine. Uh, future plans? Uh, future plans is, obviously I still love power skidding, I can't stop skidding, but um, we have been drag racing a bit. Yep. Um, I went and did my licensing and stuff like that. Uh, I run so far, I've only done a couple of quarter mile passes. It's quickest time so far is 8.3 at 168 mile an hour on its third pass. Still fast. Um, I have been to Kenda. I did run a 5.1 at 137. That's something this year I want to try and improve on that now. And, and Kenda's coming can... up, so. Yeah, Kenda's coming up, so. I'm pretty keen for it. <laughs> I, um, I'd really love to get to that 5.0 mark would be awesome. And the 8.0 eight, eight, eight and 5.0 would be a magic number. Well, having Justin in your pocket. Yes. You know, he's, pretty, a, he's a whiz on the computer. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure we should be able to do it. Yeah. Well, so. we've seen this thing do a few passes and it's definitely got the herbs. It's just getting the traction down and driving it, it straight, isn't it? It is. It's, that, that's the problem with this car. It has no... It's very basic. There's no CO control, a uh, CO2 control on or anything like that. So it is hard to get power out of it. I'm, I'm honestly here just to have fun. I don't care whether I get beaten, whether I win. I obviously like to win, but it's just fun. Yeah. Being around everyone and yeah, it's good times. Yeah, it is. Yeah. We've got Rocky Nats coming up in a couple of weeks. That's a great event up there. We've been to the last two Rockies. Yeah. Um, funny enough, it isn't a burnout car anymore, but I was the very first person to do a burnout at Rocky Nats. Ever and it was by default. Yeah, I true. wasn't even. I was just going to go do a couple of little dowies to give it a hit, and I ended up being the very first person to <laughs> to do a skid there. So Chris and the pad. Yeah, yeah, so, that's it. But yeah, frame mate. that and put it up on the wall for yeah. sure. This is history in the making. First ever Shout out, so I would like to thank Juzzy from Horsepower Solutions, always goes above and beyond. Paul Butler from PB Automotive, he's just a great mate and he's always there to help me. Me son Kai, my wife and daughter, mum and dad, and everyone back at the workshop who helps out, thank you. Excellent, mate. Appreciate it. That. All right, so how do you think you're going to stack up today against Envy? Um, I don't know. I've, I'll do my best. Hopefully, I'll 
You get the win? You haven't done a pass next to him yet? No. No. I, I haven't, no. Yeah. So. Excellent. Hopefully we'll, um, we'll go all right. Yep. Yeah. Well, we'll, um, I'll give it a good go anyway. Give it a good, fair crack. Yeah. Excellent. Well, we'll see how we go then, eh? It sounds like a plan. Too easy, mate. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. So I'm standing here today talking to Shane. Shane has Envy, Royalty, winner, Rocky Nats. Mate, this thing is a masterpiece. Yeah, so far so good. Yeah. It's um, been doing well so far. Um, just trying to uh, make it all happen for the third. Yes, which is very shortly. Which is very shortly. Which we're going a, up to yep, support. Yep, absolutely. Um, there's a lot of big hitters that are going to go. They will be. So I've got my work cut out for me this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so fingers crossed. There's a few names on the list that Absolutely. want to take the title this There's year. There's a lot, There's especially John Vesna. Yes, he and came he was second on, to me in the first year, and he was on our one of our previous yes. episodes only recently. Absolutely, and he came out here to do some testing in his HR. He's done a lot of work, so that'll be good. Yep. Yeah, good, good banter between everybody. Absolutely, it's fun. This thing is ready, prepped, ready to go. Yeah, since last Rocky Nats, I've um, completely done everything again, yep. from new motor, new turbo, new fuel system, new intercooler. Um, new R sand, everything. It's all trial and error again now to make sure everything's right and right set up. get it ready for a couple of weeks' time, yeah. Turbo on this thing? Yeah, I bought the brand new G50 1900 Garrett. So I went from the GDX 45 straight to that. Um, put the 2400 Siemen injectors in, uh, fuel pump, the yeah, new intercooler got built. Yeah. So just to try and handle what I can, power I can make out of it, yeah. And boost wise, how much you're running? Boost wise, 23 at the moment. So it okay. made 11.40 with 23 pounds through it. And what size LS? Uh, it's a six litre, so yes. that's a 377 cube step. Okay. Heads? Heads, Bradex, all been um, tickled up by Tremaine, has done all the port work through it. Camshaft um, in it? Yeah, uh, Swifty got the camshaft, Swifty okay. raced engines, done okay. the camshaft for me. Dart block. Yeah, Turbo 400. It's got and all then, the goodies. Yeah, Gazards. Gazard's done all the RCN, we put floaters in it last week, so right. make it stronger. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then Ryan from Elite Fabrication, just last week, done all the intercool, all the pipe work, and then I've had Ricky doing all the uh, holly stuff in it. Yeah, to he's done a beautiful work Get it to where it is at the moment, yeah. Um, Throttle body size you're running on this? Is 92 okay. mil. That's okay. all got to get changed again, the, the manifold ran out. We can't get any more power through it until I change it, so I might go to like a Sean's custom alloy or a okay. Velocity or... Something after Rocky, change all that. And um, yeah, that's about it. How long have you had the car for? I bought it at the start of COVID from okay. Sydney, so I couldn't go and see it. Um, it was just an LS carbureted with nitrous on it. And the guy I was talking to, we sort of went back and forward for ages because he wanted this money and I didn't want to give money because I hadn't seen it. And eventually I sort of folded and gave him the coin and had it sent up. Yeah. And then since then I've done everything to it. So it's yeah. a totally different car now. Yeah. Well, we saw it out at Joe's Diner and a few places. So yeah, it's I've good had a couple get, of yeah, places get it out, out yeah. and run it. Yeah, I don't mind going for a bit of a squirt here and there. I'd love to do power play and we do um, some rail racing and lakeside. Yeah. Love Rocky Nuts. Yes, we've heard so, a lot yeah. about it. So <laughs> Can't wait. We're, well, we're keen. It's the first time I'm going up this yeah, year. So you'll love keen, it. We're keen to it's go awesome. up. It's a great family event. It's cruisy. Excellent. What um what tire size are you running on this thing? Two seven five hero heroes. Yep. It's, Everyone it's, loves them. It's a hero, yeah, isn't it? It's the thing. And on this surface, it's yep. just the, the number one tire. Absolutely. Yeah. There's no other. There's no other way. Any future plans for this one? Um. Oh, besides the manifold. You yeah. Said. Changing all that. Yeah. It. The future plans is I want to get it teched. I want to go and do Kendra. It's sort of the thing that we want to do. So I'm yep. slowly getting there to. Well, that's coming up soon. That's just, coming up soon, yeah, I'm waiting. Yeah, next year I'll be doing it. Okay. Yeah, so I've still got seats to do and get it all teched and licensed and 
whatnot. But everything I'm doing, I'm making it so it's right to do, can do and get licensed. So it's getting there. Yeah, and it's only only you run under a certain number though that you have to be full tech. Yes. It's under a four. Is it under a six? Oh, I'm not sure. Okay. Talk. I'm not real sure about the the rules yeah. on that one, but all I know is that I've got to get licensed tech and yeah, and um, make yeah. sure it's got the supporting gear in it. Yeah. For safety. Nothing's going to break. Well, I mean, oh, the other day too, there was that black VL that was crashed. Yeah, I know. And when I first I've saw it, I thought calls. it was yours. Yeah. Going, oh no. We've had people say that obviously don't know it that well. Yeah. That black VL, who was that? And there was a mechanic driving it, and yeah, poor bugger. That's a shame. That is. Yeah. It was a nice car. It was a nice I've seen car. seen it at Power Play before. Yeah, cool. That was his baby. Uh, any shout outs to anybody for helping you along the journey? No, oh, there's always a few of them. Yeah. Um, there's definitely Ryan from Elite for all the fab work. There's Jeff from Calandra Engines who helped build, okay. put the motor together. Ricky from Ricky's um, Tuning. Um, there's Scott from Gazards, obviously. He's done a lot to it. The missus. <laughs> I'll give her a little shout. Yeah. I'll get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and probably the boys at work. I just say, here, fix this. Get on the hoist and um, make it happen. So, yeah. That's what you want, eh? Yep. Getting there. Slick behind you there. Where do you, how do you think you're going to go against got him, that one? Got him covered. You got him covered? <laughs> don't know, I don't know this new combo yet, so <laughs> we'll wait and see how it goes. Yeah, yeah, no, we're looking forward to it. It's all fun. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we have a ball, so. Excellent. I'm doing it. We'll get, uh, get these two stacked up and we'll have yeah. a heads to head and see how they go. Have a play. Excellent. Unreal. Thanks, Shane. No worries, Cheers, buddy. Oh, mate. Oh. Hey, guys. So it's uh, time to get into racing. So we'll do two runs at the dig. And then we'll do a roll race. We yep. okay with that? Yep, sounds good. So we're running a thousand foot instead of the eighth mile. Sounds yeah, good. Yeah, sounds good with that. a bit more fun up the top. Okay, you like that? Yeah. How do you think you're going to go Flag. against this thing? No idea. I'm going to give it a go, but oh, that's, I'll give it a good crack. Good. So you're trying to tell us you're running crap halfway down. So I don't think you're telling us the truth. <laughs> we'll see how. Bit it of goes, a bluff there, mate. Yeah. Yep. So let's get some helmets on and uh, see how it go. Anything else you want to throw out there? I'd just like to say thanks to my engine builder, Pete, who helped me out with my engine in my car. He's well, done nice a good job. job. Yeah. He's so done a good he built job. your engine for he, you, did he? He did, yeah. Mates rates or? No. <laughs> no? All no. cash. No cost, mate. <laughs> no cost? No. Can he is a we true, exchange mate. numbers? <laughs> hey guys, let's get our helmets on and uh, go and have some fun. Righto. Sounds good. Was a race. Did you see that? I did not expect that. Holy smokes. It was that close. Was, that was a clean race too. Well, well both were fighting, but they were staying solid and they were driving all the way down the end. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that. I can't wait to see the second round. Well, I mean, both of them got heaps of power, enough for a bloody no prep track, so we'll swap them, yeah. rerun them. See I'm looking forward to the rolls. That feel like I won. You, you won. You won. Yeah. yeah. I was in front the whole way. He was pumping, dude. I thought he was going to come past me because of the smoke, but I got it. Yeah. 
That was a win. Solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll Good go run. do the line up on the other side now. Yep. Swap lanes. Easy. Thanks, Thanks mate. We're going to build it again, eh? Blew the tyres off. Nah, we yeah. saw that. A little bit lazy out of the hole still, but we'll try the other side. But you didn't push too much away from you on the start. No, you got about oh, two cars in, and that yeah. was it. But then when you came on, yeah, I was started. Two I started. Cars. Did it get that much on you? Yeah, yeah, oh. it would have been where that cone was, I suppose. Yeah, okay. Oh. Yeah, the back of him. Okay, it looked like a really nice race. So. Yeah, it was good. It was coming on strong, but yeah, the start let me down. Yeah, so we'll get you on the other side now. Let's and have a uh, crack. Yeah. Too easy. Yeah, it's good. Done. tuners and they would like us to have the cars roll in at 60k for the at roll race 60, right 60. Right. Yep. okay so the right lane takes the pace yep quickly get up there okay sweet done two out of two two out of two mate you're the most casual fella i know Oh, do all right. <laughs> it's straight, man. It was Just going here to have fast. some fun. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to give the roll race a 60k this time. Yep. The, he's going to take the pace. You follow him. Yep. Add the cones here. Boot it. So as soon as we get to the cones, boot it. Yep. Yeah. We're going to be doing six. We do a roll race from 60 this time. Yep. And uh, Shane's going to set the speed at 60k. So you just match him. Yep. Rolling in. Okay. When you get to the cones on the outside and inside. See the outside cone as well on the starting line. Oh, these cones, not the very start no, there. No. Okay. That's the starting line cone. Yep. Get on them and just Go. bury it. Okay. Too easy, mate. I'll see you later. Okay. Thank you.
So that was a bit of fun. That Wallace. was a race. So good fun, man. Good fun. Pretty close Pretty races. Uh, yeah. you, you really keep it casual, don't you? Yeah, yes. no, I got him on the first two. Yeah. Yeah. You got him on the first two. Really sure did. Yeah. How much was it in the roll? Was it close? Uh, I, didn't, or? Didn't even I know you backed I didn't, off. I didn't go the rolls. It was too sketchy for me. Yeah, it was I, pushing right it was from the grass. start. As I let off the brake and went to go, it just I was going to be grassing. <laughs> yeah, was gonna be, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, um, you wouldn't be out. the first person, yeah. so it's okay. <laughs> it was too sketchy. I wasn't into it. But the first two were they were good races. Yeah. 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 Both solid cars. So are you happy with how you're running or? Bit so more, fair, yeah. Bit more. Yeah, the bottom end, out of the hole, is where I've got okay. to get it. Pete's got me two cars straight off the top, off the bat. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. now your tune is on a bit of overtime to get you ready Next for week. rocking out. Yep. It's all yeah. over it. Yeah. I might not touch mine. Yours is good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you should, bro. Well, I'll leave it for <laughs> us. Yeah. We just saw tail lights. It's just gone. disappeared, man. Yeah. It, was, yeah. it was fast. So how good's that? All weekend. Yep. All day. Yep. Fuel only. Yeah. Haven't even touched it. Yeah. I'm Perfect very happy. Setup. Can't complain with that. Awesome. So there was no tuning at all today on yours? Oh, a little bit of tuning on the um, on the two-step off the line. Yeah. When I got here, I had it on 4,000. Bit high or? Bit high. Yeah. <laughs> we, <laughs> we took it down to 3,200 on the second hit. Yeah. And made didn't all... touch it for the rest of the day. Yeah, made all the difference. Made all the difference. Yeah. Okay, uh, guys. So we'll see you out in June. Yep. Thanks, Hayes, for coming. Booked ready to go. Yeah. Booked ready to go. Yeah. Too easy. Thanks, yep. Shane. Thank you very Ball much, Susie. guys. Thanks, Shane. Thanks, we'll catch Thanks, you with Rocky. So, yeah, you're going to yeah, do a you. couple more runs? Thanks. and I'll see what Ricky's got planned. I think so. Yeah, there's a couple more things he wants to do. So. I think your I'll partner's go. saying yes, and he's saying, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm cool it down a little bit, and we'll have a little bit more of a practice. Okay, too easy. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button. And don't forget, if you want to come out for Quick Street, jump on and grab your tickets because uh, they're selling pretty quick. They are. This year, yeah, for June. So I think we're over halfway now. We've got a few months to go, but there's a few cars getting ready to go. We're getting phone calls constantly. Yeah. Oh, is there tickets left? We've got a car to build, but yeah. should be a great event, nice and cool. So uh, look forward to seeing you out there. Hi guys, Steve from AusAid. Quick Street is back, June 24th, 25th. Another great family weekend. So everyone come down, bring your cars, bring all your mates. This year we're gonna have similar set out to what we've had in the last couple of years with our events. We're gonna have a bar on the starting blocks. We're gonna have the kids rides. We're gonna have the camping on site on the airstrip which will be for Friday and Saturday night this time. If you don't want to camp, you can stay in the Corralbum Resort. We will also have uh, passenger riders for 16 years and over. We will be having live music Saturday night. Driver entries is online. We will be running eliminations on Sunday with the categories four-cylinder NA, four-cylinder and rotary forced, Six cylinder NA, six cylinder forced, eight cylinder NA, eight cylinder forced, and the all wheel drive turbo class. So there's enough classes on there to get everybody's car in. Uh, it will be a great shootout for Sunday. This event is a street registered vehicles only. So strictly no slicks, no methanol fuels, only radial tires. Tickets are going quick guys, so get on there, ozade.org, click on the link, get on there for the driver's entries, and spectator and camping tickets are at the gate. See you on the 24th, 25th on the airstrip. Thanks guys.